The idea was never to run a big restaurant like this. The challenge was to, you know, to after the three Michelin stars for 10 years, it was something which is accessible, comfortable, I think also which was suitable for the next chapter, which I think our whole gastronomy scene is, is growing towards. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the classical fine dining is a little bit going out and, and the modern way of fine dining is going in. Then we saw this huge building which really needed renovation because it was looking like shit. Having this kind of a setting, having this kind of an ambience uh, really triggers you to think about what kind of a, yeah, maybe an international kind of a feeling can you create to, to make a very special place. The concept what we started with and where we ended up after three years is completely different. Yeah. And we noticed it because the first idea that we had was much more accessible, was kind of a modern brasserie, bistro kind of a feeling. But all our regular people were complaining like, yeah, we do really miss Outsliders, we do miss the fine dining, we miss the four hours being with you guys and mm -hmm. enjoy your food and enjoy your hospitality. And so you start to work a little bit more and more towards that old feeling that people had before. Experience is like a new term. Everybody speaks about total experience. Everybody speaks about creating an experience. I think starting from your belly feeling and what you really enjoy when you go out to, like when I go to cities like New York or London and I visit restaurants and I visit places, the vibe and the atmosphere is for me the most important. Mm. Second is, is maybe the food. I have constant little projects going on with people, collaborations to renew our concept, to constantly Go up front and tell the guys, you know, hey, you know, we, we're not now relaxed in the position that we are. Oh, we made it because we're fully booked. No, we want to keep on profiling our personality by doing new inputs, new collaborations, new projects. Constantly be innovating, not only in the cuisine, but also in experience of our restaurants. The project that we are planning to do is end 2018. I do feel that after three years, I'm getting the urge again to do this whole triac from step zero till opening up three years. For me that was so fulfilling, that was so heavy and, and demanding so much energy and so much determination. But on the other hand, now that we're here, if I would continue doing this for the next 10 years, I would get bored. When you're on the peak of, of the intensity of the work, you start to get used to that. So the moment you go back to a more stable kind of platform, yeah, you're looking for that peak moment again. In my case, I have the DJing, which is really like a filter to, to get all my stress away, to get all my heavy moments away. The moment when I'm really there and I play music for two hours, after that, you know, people can come with their questions again. I'm open for having, you know, issues and problems again. Yeah. If that mix is right, I think you can have a profession and a professional life which is a fortune, which is running well. I think always when you push very hard, it comes out at the end. For the younger generation, not everybody should tell them it's too hard, the business is not reliable, I mean, there is no fortune in the business. Young guys should be encouraged to not go into the whole economical environment telling them don't work harder than 38 hours, don't work more than four days a week, you know, spend time in football, spend time in cafes and bars and clubs and, you know, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. This is the big title for young guys enjoy your life. You don't need to do that between your 18 and your 23. You can also first work on your career and then say, okay, now I have a good job and within my holidays, whatever, I'm gonna explore the world. You know, it doesn't always need to be like one full year hanging around in Thailand. I think the young generation should be encouraged to, to spend energy in, in working and in career again, yeah. instead of only fun aspects. And this is what I would like to promote. And by showing that, that it's doable to have the good combination of all these aspects. I think with a bear, then I could try to get a fight going on. <laughs> with a swarm of bees, it's not possible.